Hey everyone, how's it going? Dawn from Be Human here, and today I'm going to give you a quick walkthrough of Zapier. So it all starts with either cloning yourself or using one of our templates from the community template store or something you've uploaded before. Um, for the sake of this video, I'm going to click clone myself and upload a video. So let's select our actor and let's type in a name. For this project, I'm going to make a video that sends out every time somebody cancels their Be Human plan. The idea is to basically say, hey, I know you've canceled and most likely when you canceled, you were experiencing some issues. So what were they? Let's work through them with you and let's give you a free month to you know, keep them part of the Be Human community. So uh, let's start by uploading a video. And I have this video that I just filmed before. What I did is that I filmed this with my iPhone and I also filmed the sound on my computer. And I basically put the sound from my computer with the video from the iPhone. And the reason I did this is twofold. The first is that I cloned my voice using my computer microphone. And we want the microphone that we use to record our voice to, when we did the training for our voice cloning to be the same microphone that we use when we record our templates. And additionally, like in the same room as well, so that all the environments are equal as much as can be. Secondly, for best results, we want our face to be about four to five feet away from the camera. Um, so that's why I set my phone up on a tripod a couple feet away. So, you know, we have that distance, but of course the audio, the microphone, the environment is still the same. So let's just wait for this to upload here. Excellent. So I navigated into my uploads and the video has been uploaded. So now let's enter the next step, which is transcription and variable selection. All right, perfect. So as you can see, it wrote down what we said, not always perfectly so, but more or less, right? And all we really care about is this first section high name because that's the only variable I have in this particular video. So you can play this back, right? All right, so let's go ahead and highlight our variable. So very simply, just name, and I'll call this name, hit create, perfect. One thing to know is that we want our variables to be in short sentences. And if you want tips on the best recording practices, you can check out a video guide that we have on that, that I'll link in this as well for you. Um, so hi name, and then notice I have a slight pause, which is all we need, and we're good to go. Cool, so now let's go ahead and hit next. All right, perfect. And now we're ready to go. So what I'm gonna do in this case is connect it with Zapier so that every time there's a new cancellation in Stripe, we're going to trigger this video to send out. So let's go ahead and do that. So the trigger is once again, Stripe, cancel subscription. And of course, you could use any trigger for any app you'd like. All right, excellent. So in this case, this customer canceled their subscription. So this is our sample data. All right, let's hit continue. Okay. Now we're going to generate our video. So let's hit Be Human here, and the event will be new video. Continue. Now, I already have my account connected, but if you need to connect your account, you can find your Zapier API keys by going into settings, Zapier, generate. Then you can copy and paste these into Zapier. So I'll choose the account that I already have connected. Hit continue. And then we're gonna select our video template, right? And we name this one, Be Human Cancellation Template Video. So I'm gonna search for that, there it is. And we have our first name variable that we need to replace. And the intuitive thing to do would just be to hit customer name, you know, Jenny, and be done with it. Let's hit continue and let's test the action. All right, cool. So we got back these placeholder values of generating for the Be Human video. And Zapier requires an instant feedback from Behemoth, which is why we give you that placeholder value, right? Because Behemoth takes about two to three minutes to generate a video. So in the meantime, we give you this generating placeholder to work with. Now, as a next step, I want to send this 
over email. So I'm going to hit Gmail and we're going to select my email account, send email. All right, and now let's enter in the email of the person who canceled their subscription. And we're going to choose the from. It's going to be the email we connected. The subject, we'll do something eye-catching. And this is important. For the body type, we need to use HTML because we're going to embed the video in here. So we need to embed the image and then link that. So we already wrote some HTML you can just copy and paste in here, so it's super easy. I'm going to grab that, and I'll show you where to find it as well. All right, so this is our help center, and you can see it's organized into these different chapters. Uh, let's look at sending your videos, and then how to send a video over email with Zapier. Okay, perfect. So this is the HTML we need to paste in. So let's just copy this and paste it into the body making sure that we selected HTML as the body type. Um, so you can see this is just some basic placeholder values, right? So hi, first name. For here, we're going to use the name from Stripe. So hi, Jenny, comma. Um, and then I'm going to replace this with something about how they just canceled their subscription. All right, so we wrote a very simple message in here. Now for the important part, let's look down here at this snippet of code. Let's replace video underscore URL with from be human, show all options, the video URL. Let's replace the thumbnail with just the thumbnail. And let's leave these quotes in here. So we're just replacing those words. And lastly, video underscore URL with video URL. Perfect. And then I'll just change this closing line. Now let's go ahead and test this. Actually, for this test, I'm going to change the email so it does not go to the customer. So it goes to myself. Okay, now let's test this. All right, let's check it out. All right, so here it is. Everything looks good, but you'll notice that there's no thumbnail, of course, and the link doesn't go anywhere. And this is because we're testing with those placeholder values of generating. Now, this is really important. This is actually expected and normal. When we actually launch the campaign and go live with it, then the video will actually generate and the real values will be put inside here. So what I recommend is, you know, you do your test email, make sure that your copy looks good, then go back, publish it, and then do a real test, right? So you actually test it out. So let's do that right now. All right, so let's go ahead and publish it. Perfect. And let's give it a name as well. Now let's go back and let's actually trigger this manually while it's published and live. So I'm going to create a new account with BeHuman, upgrade my plan, cancel it, and then see what the results look like. So just to review a couple of real world examples here, um, we have someone named Neil who downgraded and so generated him a video as you can see here. And just to scroll through it, we have one for Rob and Craig and you know, all this is completely automated and just you know happens in my sleep, but actually saves us a lot of customers. So. This one move, which took me, I don't know, maybe 10 minutes to do, um, has made a significant impact on our business. And I'm sure you could already think of ways that it can translate into yours. So if you have any questions at all, you're always welcome to contact us via the live chat. And I'm looking forward to seeing you apply Zapier to your business and chatting with you further on the platform. Thank you for your time.